Hi everyone, this is Teo from Pucklebox.com. Today I'm going to sketch a crowd of people. I'm actually sketching from a reference photo and if you want to practice sketching people, you can actually just go online and do an image search on crowds, like crowded streets, crowded um, New York, crowded Hong Kong street, or use any search term with the word crowded, so you'll get to see a lot of people. And this is how I usually draw my people. I draw them in a very simple stylistic uh, way, so there is not a lot of detail. I usually just use one line to draw the exterior of the shape and then add in details if um, need be. But usually when I'm drawing on an A5 a sketchbook, I will not add a lot of detail because there's not a lot of space for me to add details. And also if I add details then um, the whole scene may actually appear to be quite busy because all the lines are working together to get your attention. So sometimes I don't want to draw so many lines, I just want to use as uh, few lines as possible to get my image across. Right now I'm using a technique called contour drawing. This technique involves me looking at the subject and drawing without looking at the paper. So I pay very close attention to the subject. I look at it intensely, trying to follow the angles of the lines and then just let my hand guide the pen on the paper. But I do not look at my pen or the paper. So this technique will help you basically um, draw what you see but not what you think you see. Especially when drawing people, sometimes, I mean, you know how people will look like, you know how a hand looks like, how a face looks like. That can actually work against you when you are drawing. So you might actually draw something that you think you know, but may not actually appear in the scene that is right in front of you. Generally speaking, the basics of drawing still comes down to drawing by measurement, by alignment, and by proportion, so all these are very important techniques. If you want to learn more about drawing from observation, I actually have a beginner course that I am selling on my Gumroad web page. So basically the course will teach all the fundamentals of drawing from observation. No prior knowledge is required and I'm pretty sure that after you go through the course, you will be able to draw quite well from observation and the techniques that I teach in the course you can use it to draw any subject because the basics of drawing really comes down to a few techniques that when you apply it you can draw any subject that you see and that's the really fun thing about drawing because um, it's like cycling and swimming once you learn it you will not forget it so if you want to learn a skill that can follow you through life and support my YouTube channel at the same time, you can check out the link to my Gumroad webpage in the video description below. By the way, the fountain pen that I'm using right now is the Sailor fountain pen with zoom nib. I like this nib because it can produce very thick lines and it's great when I'm drawing this kind of uh, sketching for video for my camera to capture. The ink that I'm using in this fountain pen is the Noodleless Black Ink. It's waterproof and dry. However, I found out that the ink performance differs depending on the type of paper that you use. Right now, I'm using cartridge paper and it dries properly. When I use the Noodleless Bulletproof Black Ink on my Strathmore 400 series watercolor journal, the ink wasn't able to dry even after I leave it to dry for a day. So even after one day, I can still see the ink uh, smear across the pages. So the ink performance really depends on the paper that you use it with. This sketch took me around 20 minutes to draw. The amount of time I take to finish a sketch really depends on the complexity and the size of the paper. If the paper I'm using is a large piece of paper, then I will need more time to finish the sketch because I need to add in more details. If I try to use a large piece of paper without a lot of details, then the sketch is going to look quite empty and it's going to look unfinished. 
The brush pen that I'm using is the Pentel Color Brush Pen. This is a very quick and convenient way to add in shadows and highlights. This is almost the end of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. And be sure to check out the video description for links to my Gumroad website and also to the reviews for the Pentel Color Brush Pen and Sailor Zoom Nib. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.